Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, one and all. Welcome to the stream that love built. Welcome, friends, to another round of DC Plays. Hello, folks. How are we? Uh, I missed your face, DC. Well, I missed you too, Nat. I missed you as well. Lurk while lurk watching a dance thing. Okay, well, watch your dance thing. Watch your thing, the dances. Um, phrasing. And uh, yeah, you, you get on back here when you get the opportunity to do that. Um, all in all, hello folks, welcome, 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 so glad to see you all here. Uh, we are going to get ready to jump into our gaming for the night. I can't do it at the moment though, because I don't have my glasses, and I don't know where I put them. So give me a moment, I'm gonna walk away, but I shouldn't be far, because I imagine they're just like right in that room there, and I'm gonna go grab those. So give me a moment, because... I can't see a thing without my glasses. Be right back. Promise I'm not far. And neither were they. I found them immediately. Yay. Okay. So here we are. Oh. Try to be careful and not knock over everything on my shelf. With my big A. Um, okay. Uh. Here we are. All right, we're back and we're in full effect now. So, um, first off, let me readjust this microphone. Or maybe it's my chair that needs readjustment. That is it. My chair needs to be fixed. There we go. Okay, that, that's okay. I can deal with that. All right, so we're getting ready to hop into our gameplay for the evening. Yesterday, we hopped into a brand new game, a game that I have been waiting to jump into and I said you know what it's time to stop waiting it's time to stop waiting around we're gonna do what we do and we're gonna do it well we're gonna keep on doing it and doing it and doing it well um so here's that game we're bringing it back one more night hop back into it have a little bit more damn it DRT <laughs> I literally just opened the game. Just opened the game. You see, you see what's happening, and then, and then you come with the for Nat because I said I would. I know, I know. But it's like now I gotta, now I gotta go back over here, man. What you, what, what, what you, what your craziness? You're being all crazy. Being all crazy. So now I gotta wait for the game to load so that I can change the sound. One moment. <laughs> okay. Um, I'm gonna click it. And then I'm gonna hit options. And audio, I'm gonna turn, I'm just gonna turn. I'm just gonna turn that off for the moment. Oh my, oh my goodness, there's a mute copyrighted music. I didn't realize that that was in there. Um, I should probably use that uh, from now on based upon the fact that, you know, we ain't dealing with them, um, them copyright claims around here. I hate copyright claims. There's a copyright claim song that, um, what's his name? Um, Berlizzi, Ber Ber Berlizzi. He's a YouTuber, but also a streamer. He made a copyright claim song, but I'm almost certain that if I use that song, I would get copyright claimed because it's his song. Um, so I'm gonna have to make a copyright claim song. Just gonna have to do that now. Mm, but anyway, um, I mean, I could wait until like the middle of the boss fight and do it again. Well, yeah, but see, either way it go, if it was in the middle of the boss fight, you would damn sure be waiting. You would absolutely be waiting until I got to a point where I could do something about it. Um, but I understand you did it at a good moment. It's right before we crack in. So it's not like we're busy. And I'm not like, I'm not really mad. I'm just like, come on, bruh. Really? Okay. I gotta do it now. All right, fine. Um, so let's see. Let's look into the old files of Musak. 
and let's see if there's anything out here that we can hop into and feel good with what what the bra what Brian me for um Um, do I know all the words of this song? I don't, but I'm interested to see what ends up happening if I sing it, kind of. <laughs> um... Hold on, hold on. Let me see if I can find something else. Cause, but if I can't, then I might, I might just try. That. <laughs> uh, pop to the sound. Since that was your reaction. Ah, got you, got you. Yeah, I guess I guess that was yeah that was called for. It was called for. Ooh, ooh, can I do that? <laughs> All right, I'm gonna try. <laughs> I'm gonna try this and we're gonna see what happens with this particular song. I'm gonna try this. Um, also, it's an acoustic, so I hopefully it's in the right key. Somebody's just playing it. Um, but in scrolling, I didn't see anything else that I wanted to necessarily do. So, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and do this because why not? Throw, why would I throw a good throwback up in here? All right. Um, can y'all show me the, can y'all like show me the screen? Or did, did you freeze it? What did you, what happened? Oh, okay. The ad just didn't show up. All right. Let's see what happens, y'all. Let's see what happens. Here we go. <clears throat> I'm so tired of being me. Depressed by all my childish fear and if you have to leave i wish that you would just leave is there any music playing hold on nope no instrumental let's start it again let's start it again <laughs> i was like wait wait i don't think i'm playing music <laughs> So tired of being here, oppressed by all my childish fears. And if you have to leave, I wish that you would just leave. Your presence still lingers here, and it won't leave me. These wounds won't seem to heal This pain is just too real There's just too much that time cannot erase 
When you cried, I'd wipe away all of your tears. When you scream, I'd fight away all of your fears. And I held your hand through all of these years, but you to captivate me by your resonating light now i'm bound by the life you left behind your face it haunts my once pleasant dreams your voice it chased away all the sanity in me and these wounds won't seem to heal and this pain is just too real and there's just too much that time cannot erase when you cried i'd wipe away all of your tears when you scream i'd fight away all of your fears and i have your head through all of these years but you still have all of me I've tried so hard to tell myself that you're When you cried, I'd wipe away all of your tears. When you scream, I'd fight away all of your fears. And I held your hand through all of these years. But you Ah, uh, okay. There that is. Got through it. <laughs> I will play that back later and see what that was like. Um, because I took some liberties. Um, I was legit singing that with you. I'm glad you felt it. I'm glad you felt it. Um, yeah. I am. Hmm, I'm interested to know what that comes out to be like we'll see we'll see later um i'm doing this thing nowadays where when i sing i sing for feeling and not for technique anymore um i just sing what i feel in that moment um so yeah i mean that might be good. That might be bad. We're going to see how that changes my sound all the time. <laughs> um, 
that's the only way to do it. If you're not singing for the pure love and enjoyment and feeling of that moment, then you shouldn't be doing it. You just shouldn't be doing it. Okay, so I went for my uh, full screen. Uh... Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Which one is this? Oh, this is my gameplay screen. The one I didn't realize I hadn't adjusted it. Okay. But it has the right things up. So. All right. I'm going to fix this. Give me one moment. Okay. And... Well, slight adjustment and but it's weird because now I'm looking this way while I play it and <laughs> okay hold on let me do the other one and go back to let's do this one instead sure chat is it on screen but eh, hey we're, we're doing it all right here we go <clears throat> so yes let's Continue where we left off. Now, Nat, I know you were gone, so... Well, I know a lot of you were gone, so I will hype you or hip you. Let's just start all this statement, all of this whole statement over. So, I know a lot of you were gone, um, <laughs> and you didn't get to see where we ended last night. We actually got to exactly where we needed to get to. We reset the manual override and now all areas of the place are open um we have not explored yet i decided to save that for stream uh but we have opened the entire building now the 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 lockdown override is done so um if you wanted to see that go back to the last video uh but we're back in the office Back in the office with um, Emily, who I also still consider to be Judy Garland in the digital flesh. Um, so let's, yeah, let's hop into this thing. Sus, she's sus. Why do you think she's sus? I'm like, I don't know. I don't know if she's sus. I'm still trying to figure out if I feel like she is sus. But now it's time for us to find Marshall. It's time to find Marshall. Um, and Marshall is in the research and then parapsychology place. So we have to now navigate this building and find Marshall. The situation is getting worse. I saw Trench and Darling arguing a couple weeks ago. Trench was furious. You don't think Darlene... Don't be stupid. What would the Bureau's golden child have to gain from killing the boss? Mm. That's why you always listen to what everything... You listen to everything everybody says. I need a refresher. I mean, I know I'm going to find Marshall, but... Hi, Jesse. I did go through, oh, darling, oh, these are new things to talk about. These things weren't here last time. I, f I, I feel like they all had a hand in the hiss. They may have very well all had a hand in the hiss. We'll see. I keep finding traces of darling, but still can't find him. Where could he be? But he's usually in his office in research or one of his labs. Dr. Darling has quite a few all around the bureau. Could be hiding in any one of them. I hiding myself hmm. but i don't have access to most of them sounds like i touched a nerve mm -hmm. he didn't let you into his labs not all of them no some had volatile material that's ridiculous i mean this whole place is volatile material you ain't lying I could have at least thought up a more convincing lie this whole place How can I work without access to all the data possible Building ships. Let's talk about them. This place has a bad habit of moving around, huh? It's 
So you notice the building shifts. Did you know that 39% of bureau accidents are caused by the shifts? It's true. I ran the numbers myself. So they're dangerous. Oh, very. At one time, a shark got shifted into a meeting room along with over 2,000 gallons of water. What? It was a tiger shark. Darling's pet research project. I forget what he was researching. How did people work here? Th yes, that is the question. That is the question at hand. How do people work here? What is going on? <laughs> you we had a file about that. We had a file about the tiger, sh the tiger shark shift. Okay, I will, I'll check the files in a second. I'll check the files. Hope's role. Let's talk about your role here, Emily, if that is your real name. You said you're an assistant? Oh, it's just a title. I'm a scientist, a researcher. I work for Dr. Darling. See, when bureau agents go out in the field, the sites of altered world events, we study the materials, the altered items they bring back. It's always something we've never seen before. And Studying them requires new instruments, methodologies, sometimes entirely new fields of science. Mm. Emily really loves her job. See, there's no guidebook for what we do here. Everything that happens at the Bureau, including the science, is without precedent. You just get to do whatever you want to do. Mm. Let's talk Ocean View Motel and Casino. What exactly is the Ocean View Motel? That's a bigger question than you might think. You see, I have extreme doubts that the motel is a single place. But look at all the doors inside it. Where do they all go? We know that one door leads to the oldest house, but how come we can only ever open that one door? Mm -hmm. Maybe to open a door, you have to have entered through it. So if every door leads to a different dimension, plane, reality, whatever you want to call it, then I believe that the motel is firm proof that parallel universes exist. Does um, Darling agree with that? I haven't told him yet. I'm waiting until I can prove it. Um, what more needs to be proven? What more needs to be, like, uh, it is clearly evidence that parallel universes exist. Like, what... This work, mm, the world we live in at this point is proof that fucking parallel universes exist based upon the fact of everything that we have endured since we walked into this damn building. This building is a parallel universe in its own right. Crazy people. Like everything we've done proves that. But whatever, whatever, whatever. Anyway, control points, talk about them. What can you tell me about control points? What can you tell me? Tell me. They're nexus points of the oldest house's unique energies. Now, I wrote a 30-page proposal hypothesizing that we could siphon energy directly from them. Darling didn't even get through the first page before he turned it down. Right. And, uh, has anyone ever used them to teleport around? What? Uh, no. What, I mean, you mean physically? No, not that I've ever heard of. Why? Because that's how they work for me. Right. What? Really? Yes. Oh my god. More tests. Let's hold off on the tests until later, okay? Okay. You know, it's just... Wow. I mean, this blows my control point theories right out of the water. I love it. Mm. So we are doing things that she ain't even realized she could do within her research. Like that is, that's kind of cool. That is kind of cool. All right, we're going to exit for now. See you soon. Be careful out there. Crazy woman. All right, so. Uh, files.
to have to do that. Investigate the strange light in the break room. Yeah, um, I saw a Mary chase, and I'm like, I'm not about to chase anything. Okay, research and records. Damn it! I keep pushing the wrong button. It is. It's also a neat to see her get excited about it. It is neat to see her get excited about it. Just because I think that she really does truly love her job. She loves being able to find all these new things out. Oh, uh, the explosive hiss hisses. I'm not even going to read about those because they piss me off. Um, the troopers. Heaviest armor. Yeah, I just got to keep hitting them with big ass shit. Um, that I learned last night. Thresholds. The oldest house is a place in flux. Thresholds appear with no warning. What the threshold will contain is a question we can only answer once it manifests. The widely accepted theory is that the threshold is that thresholds are dimensions vibrating on a redacted frequency different from our own. When these frequencies match, the threshold will manifest in the oldest house, which acts as a redacted. Otherwise, theorize other, others theorize thresholds are parallel universes or possibly our own reality at a different point in time. Some believe our collection of altered materials affects the house or attracts the thresholds. We do know for certain that thresholds are not permanent. Eventually, their frequencies will shift. Some believe Earth itself is just another threshold connected to the oldest house, which is actually rooted in, something other rea in some other reality. This theory, while impossible to disprove, causes redacted in those who learn of it so it's actively denied hmm. protophile 505 5, 1881 for full report. Hmm. Wait a minute. Saw his stuff. Reports. Okay, it's not in any of those. It's filed. Correspondent. Death. Apology. Investigation. Lockdown distinction. Limited items. Security order. Hmm. There it is. Redacted. A shark in his redacted, although secure. Redacted permission to redacted. Following basic protocol. Redacted. Shoot to kill. Redacted. Good luck. All the adapted, all the adapted. Um, so here's the one. This is the this is the document. I'm trying to see. I feel like there have been other documents that have attention all at the top of them. Okay, I can read about this. The clog now. That gross blockage down in the sewers is back. System is back. What the fuck is it? <laughs> That is exactly, exactly what I said when I walked to that room. <clears throat> um, that's a great file right there. Very informative. <laughs> I know. Super redacted. Yeah. Um, that gross blockage down in the sewer system is back. What the fuck is it? And where does it keep coming from? And why the hell does Ati keep yelling nonsense at it? He acts like it can understand him. Of course, he acts like we can understand him, too. Yes, that's just his brand of crazy. I'm going to try out a new drain cleaner. Extreme strength. <laughs> oh, my God. Um, so, Nat, I can't remember. Were you here when I was cleaning the drain? 
Or did you go to sleep by then? <clears throat> Upcoming game reminder. Next game is Wednesday at 8, usual spot. Hazard, ultimate $20. Irish, still on a fucking winning streak. Somebody please figure out how he's cheating. Tom Thompson, suspended for a game because of that shady de dealing incident. Guy, I owe you 60 bucks. I brought beers last time, so it's Hepstone Stall's turn. Remus. You were asleep by then? Okay, yeah. There's this giant, like, angry monster thing um, that, like, spews stuff. Um, and it has, like, these, I don't know, these, like, pimply spots. And you gotta, like, shoot the whole thing in order for it to clear out of the system. Um, and apparently, um, your boy Ati... He 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 knows about the clog and he talks to the clog, um, or talks about it like it's a person. And there's stuff, man. Like Ati knows something. Ati ain't nowhere near being as crazy as people set him out to be. Like that's the thing that I know for sure. Ati knows some shit, and I'm trying to figure out what Ati know so that I can know so I can fix the world. So much is expected from the director. The responsibility. Mm -hmm. The privilege. Wow. To steer the Bureau into dangerous waters and safely out again. To inspire and lead its people. To protect them. Mm -hmm. The board is there to advise you. Right. They want things in return. Oh, they do? You hold all this in your old, trembling hands. Well, my hands gotta be old. I see the bureau is the director's life there's no room for anything else if the forces contained here escaped we'd be dragged back into an age of superstition terror death assuming you think we ever really left that behind any emergency any major containment breach and the lockdown goes into effect I implemented this security measure in my first years as a director. I knew we were vulnerable. I'd personally seen the cost of sloppiness. Personally? I made sure the internal lockdown could only be lifted by a directorial override, only to be used when the director is confident the sectors are safe to be opened again. This way, the director is the last line of defense. Mm -hmm. If I screw up, it's on me and me alone. Oh, well, I've already unlocked the building, so. Oh, shit, there was more in there. I've already unlocked it, so, I mean. Hey, this is from the board about the hiss. Here we go. The hiss spread is searching for transmission speakers to corrupt chaos. The astral plane is conflux, conflux switchboard. The hiss will come for us all. You must stop. Shut up, them. Okay. if we don't even know what kind of energy it uses. What do you mean? It has to be a fusion reactor. There's no other way to create that kind of energy output. Right? Hmm. The 
and the Bureau's number of combat staff just became our biggest liability. All right. Dance thing is over. How was dance thing? Was it a Robbie dance thing? Why didn't you say anything? Why would you not tell me it was a Robbie dance thing? Because you were streaming. Still, I would have paused to see the Robbie dance thing before I started. I hadn't started yet. Research sector. Where did I need to go? What was it? Research? I think it was research. Research. I forgot it was, I forgot he had a thing today. Now I feel like a horrible friend. This video would make for great internal communications. I'm looking at you, Mr. Tomasi. So, this is where the magic happens. Anyway, I, I've been here for 24 years now. I've always been here. And, and through those years, we've made astonishing discoveries, authored studies of great importance. And in all this work, there is one thing we know and that's how little we truly know. Rest assured, we're committed to keep pushing the known laws and borders of reality and to make the Bureau proud. So, welcome. Assuming you have the necessary clearance and, and to follow the safety protocols. Read the manual. Otherwise, bad things will happen. Um. Research sector, huh? home of the Bureau's mad scientists. Oh, motherfucker.
Motherfucker. Get up. Mother fucker. How they shoot me? How they shoot me through the building? How did they shoot me through the building? Y'all saw that? <laughs> How the hell did they shoot me through the building? I had full motherfucking cover. I'm mad as hell. Some kind of weird ass hiss magic. Look here. They gonna choose not to introduce that? Like, oh yeah, cover means nothing, by the way. By the fucking way. Just so you're aware. Cover means nothing.
Damn it, bitch! The fuck down. Oh, I hate you motherfuckers. I hate you, I hate you, I hate you. You about to shoot a missile. Damn! I didn't even get a chance to fucking run. I will tear this sector up. I don't give a fuck about none of y'all. I don't give two fucks. This is what I made. This is what I made the mistake last time. I sat back here. Thinking I had cover and I didn't. Woo! Uh. Excuse me. Are you the only one? You the last one? You're looking at me.
How many of you motherfuckers is it? I get these life pellets. Run back over here, get these life pellets. Cause goddamn. God damn. You gonna try and run at me? You gonna try and run at me? You gonna try and run at me, bitch? You just gonna run over here? Like that shit is okay? I love it when you yell at <laughs> I never think I'm gonna get that passionate about it until I get into the game and it's like bitch no I don't care about these cameras they can Die. And I feel like those speakers are not helpful either, so I'm getting rid of every speaker and loudspeaker I see. Like this motherfucker. That's right, give me all your bits. Cafeteria, fuck that. Dr. Darling's Office of Dimensional Research. I was looking specifically for, yeah, parapsychology. So I'm guessing that's beyond that wall. I'm guessing parapsychology is back there, but I can't get back there. So, hmm. I guess I could go into Darling's office and see what the fuck's going on up there. Or I can keep going lower towards the cafeteria. Which will probably, which will probably just in introduce me to more of the motherfuckers that I don't feel like fighting. But I'm pretty sure they're just everywhere, so it doesn't really matter. Over. Over. Shoot. That's me. Motherfucker. Like you feel me. 
You feel me shooting you. Why are you playing these guys? Another camera. Fuck surveillance in this bitch. Fuck your surveillance. Whoever the fuck is surveilling me. I don't think it has shit to do with motion. I think it has everything to do with somebody actually watching. Fuck. Your surveillance, bitch. Fuck it. Y'all gonna act like I'm too far away. Like, y'all don't feel me shooting. Y'all know y'all feel me shooting on it. Bitch. No. Bitch, no. That's a speaker back there. That has to come down. I could have swore I bust both of them. I may be wrong. I may be did not. I'm gonna go up to Dr. Darwin's office. Plants complaint. Okay. His sniper, yeah. I've I've experienced the his sniper now. So whatever. Alright. Back. But what? Hey, so I was wondering so I was just wondering about the plant the plants in research. Is it really necessary to sing to them? I mean, that janitor does have a nice voice and the plants sure seem to like it. Uh, maybe he could just switch it up a bit. I'm getting pretty tired of the tango. And where did these plants even come from? No one seems to remember when they were planted and people like them, and people like them a bit too much if you ask me. Are we being invaded by houseplants? Uh, worth looking into, Dr. Lewis. DC, is this destruction in the budget? It's a, it's in the budget today. Welcome to the research sector of the. Okay, this is the video I looked at when I came in. Why is everything a cassette tape? Or maybe it's not all a cassette tape. Maybe these are cassette tapes and don't. They all look like cassette tapes, though. So. All right. Dr. Darling's office. Well, that's Darling's office. What's over here? Dimensional research.
been fielding questions recently regarding HRAs. What are they for? Do you always need to wear them? And what's the deal with the Hedron resonance anyway? Was that a Seinfeld reference? Despite what you may have heard, HRAs are not monitoring devices. They're not tracking your movements. They're listening to your conversations while you're wearing them. Do that regardless whether or not you're wearing an HRA. Bigger than this, uh, One day that classified not water might pour in and you'll be glad you got a, got an HRA keeping you afloat. And if you don't have an HRA, don't worry. It'll be uh, quick and painless. <laughs> kidding. I'm kidding. We're making more. I don't think he was kidding. I think he... Okay. No, he does not look like that doctor. He looks like he's been through some shit. Not the invasive house plant. <laughs> oh, fuck. And here we go. Because motherfuckers found out that I found out. Bitch, get out of my face.
Where? Where are they? Whoa! You down on that bottom floor on the left side, okay. Bring your ass around this corner. Oh, you're right there. New bureau alert, executive personnel protection. Go to the mail room? I have to remember where the mail room is. Okay, music stopped. That's the end of that. Wait. Is that? That's the motel, ain't it? That is the motel. They're surveilling that room at the motel. Okay. So I can't get into parapsychology for whatever reason. But I have been given an objective to go to the mailroom for. The ritual division is also blocked. I wonder if there was a place to cleanse all the way down in the auto not auditorium, the cafeteria. Wait a minute, did the speakers come back? I could have swore I blew those speakers off the wall. Oh, here we go. Oh, that's them Explodey Boys. Oh, no, nah, I don't fuck with them Explodey Boys. Motherfuck. Oh, shit. I don't fuck with y'all. I 
I do not fluck with I do not flux with y'all. I don't. Why? Because I wanted to go to the damn vending machine. Y'all trying to keep some shit away from me. Oh, bitch, you just tried to kill me. Damn it. Was it enough? Fuck out my face. The fuck? Now, boy. Y'all do not want me down here. Why? Psychology still can't go there. Oh, my motherfucking God! That's those damn plants. This is that shit I can't get near, right? Did you even come from? Oh, fuck y'all. Oh, fuck. Bitch. Fuck. Fuck you, motherfuckers. Damn it. Dude, I knew you was gonna try it. I knew you was gonna try it. No! God damn it! Oh. Luckily, enough of your brethren are dead. <sighs> Bitch made motherfucker. Oh, no. Oh, hell no. Not that bitch. Does that motherfucker? That motherfucker's hard to kill. Oh, hell no! You bitches!
bitches. Motherfucking bitches. Ah! Uh, so I have to go through all that again. Like all of that. All of that. God damn it. Why'd you run past me? Where are you going? You, you been trying to get out the sector, bro? Fuck out my face. Really DRT? Really DRT? You, you just gonna come you just gonna come in my stream with all this disrespect? recently regarding HRAs. What are they for? Do you always need to wear them? I mean... Am I okay? You gonna come in my stream? Request a song and then ask me if I'm if I'm okay.
Nah, nah, that wasn't what you said. That wasn't what you said. You said, look, DC confetti, as if I was confetti because I had blown up. Look, DC confetti over here and over there. Just celebrating the fact that I was dead. It's okay. I don't know what this is, and I don't know why it's playing. Stop. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. And I know, and, and I... Motherfucker, shut up! <laughs> and I know, I, I, I know why Steven did that. He did that with the hopes that I would do that song. Like, he... I, 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 I was picking up on the on the vibe I was um I was aware I saw what was there I hope y'all are happy because only two redeems can be done per, per, per stream and this will be the second one and then it will be over within the first hour and 30 minutes so that is your that is that that was your choice. That was your choice. What you want, baby, I got it. What you need, you know I got it. All I'm asking is for a little respect when you get home. Hey, baby, when you get home, mister. I ain't gonna do you wrong. Why are you gone? I ain't gonna do you wrong, cause I don't wanna. But all I'm asking is for a little respect when you get home. Hey, baby, when you get home, mister, I'm about to give you all my money. And all I'm asking in return, honey, is you give me my propers when you get home. Hey, baby, when you get home. Hola. Mm, yeah. Ooh, your kisses are sweeter than honey. But guess what? So is my money. And all I want you to do for me is give it to me when you get home. Hey, baby, when you get home. Yeah. R E S P C T. Find out what it means to me. R E S P C T. Take care of T C P. Oh, a little respect all the time. You keep on trying, 
We're running out of food, and I ain't lying. Respect when you get home, or you look for me, and I'll be gone. A little respect, just a little respect. A little respect, little respect. There, you got it. You got it. There. Okay, stop, stop, stop. It was a little bit, not a lot of it. There. There. And now both songs have been redeemed. So there can be no more rentals. No, no, no more. It's over. It's over now. You could have you used it on a better song. You could have used it on a better song. But, hey, whatever. It's okay. I'm going to get back to it. HRAs are not monitoring devices. They're not tracking your movements. Or listening to your conversation. I mean, it's not like you missed anything. Same scene. There you go. I fixed it. It's the same scene. You haven't really missed it. regardless whether or not you're wearing an HRA. Think of them as a, as a uh, life preserver. Only instead of water, the, the thing HRAs protect you from is um, classified. One day that classified not water might pour in and You'll be glad you got a, got an HRA keeping you afloat. And if you don't have an HRA, don't worry. It'll be uh, quick and painless. <laughs> kidding. I'm kidding. No, you're not. We're making more. You're not kidding. I don't know why he said he was kidding. He's not kidding. First off, it won't be quick and plain. Let's make that very clear. I was just entirely ambushed. Like, there wasn't shit I could do. Them splody boys, though? Yeah, I'm not... Not cool with the splody boys. I'm just not. Not. Not at all. Not. I'm more bothered by the fact that each time I have to start over from the beginning because there is not a save point in this entire area. They just blew everyone's mind. Is that what happened? Okay.
and pops, 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 pops. Touch. Oh. And touch. Motherfucker, where are y'all? Up here, bitch. Wanna go downstairs? But when are you hoes going up here? I guess they answered my question. Oh, these are the motherfuckers in the chairs that I hadn't met yet. Are they just gone? There's something downstairs that y'all don't want me to get to. Okay, so it's definitely gonna be you hoes every time. All right, cool, good to know. Good to know. Damn it. Oh. Oh, really? Y'all like doing this vanish thing? I guess there's enough cover for me to work over here. All right, let's do it. Let's do it. We're doing it. We're doing it. Let's go. I'm cracking you while you are still in your chair. All right. Well, now I know what the strat is to get you. Okay.
Yes, uh, those motherfuckers in the chairs, they are just like the motherfuckers that fly, but instead of charging with their items, they just shoot the items out. A black rock analysis, okay. Why are these not gender neutral bathrooms? Just saying. The new day, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Yo, acid monkey, acid, what's going on? Welcome to the stream, of course. Yo, if you are not following Acid, get over there, do the thing, follow our boy. What, Guan? Uh, not much going on here. Just, you know, getting down on some <laughs> control. Learning the secrets. Fighting these crazy monster bastards with their telepathus. You know, doing the things. They're looking at me. Oh shit. Oh, fuck. Music is still playing, which means these motherfuckers are not done. Where are they? Y'all gonna make me go out there. Y'all gonna make my ass go out there. Oh, there you are. With your bitch ass. Is it just you? Nope.
Where you at? You don't want to meet me in my corridor. You scared to come down to my corridor because I'm going to pop your ass. But I'm also scared to come out there because if it's 50 of you motherfuckers, I'm not in the mood. I'm not going to lie. I would rather meet one of you and call it a real good day than meet 50 of you and be like dead again. Who is it? Bring your ass. Fine. Fine. Of course it's you motherfuckers. I knew it. With your bitch assness. I knew it. Bring your ass down here. Come on. Yeah, cause y'all ain't gonna throw grenades. Or should I say, y'all not gonna fight me like a man. Y'all gonna throw motherfucking grenades at my ass. Bitch, get out of my face. Who you running at? Just get out of my face. Who the fuck are you running at? Well, here you come with the bullshit. Bring your ass down here. Come here. Come in my corridor. Come down in my corridor. Come down here. Bitch made motherfuckers. Oh, and then here come your ass. Your big ass. You think somebody gonna deal with your bullshit? You come from a world of bitch assness. Did you know that? You a bitch made motherfucker. With your bitch ass. Sorry. I kind of get mad. <laughs> but y'all know that.
Shit. Oh, this lab is open. Lab one is open. His nodes go to the communications department to deal with his nodes. What what is what is this supposed to do? What is that button for? I don't know what this button is for. Okay, more proof that it's definitely a sound thing. It is a sound thing. What you mean, try it out? Uh huh? The one thing I learned in Men in Black is that you are never supposed to push the little red button. I ain't pushing the little red button. Spec uses colors to keep people alert while they're working. SBC uses colors, sorry. FBC. Look, I've already learned that the Federal Bureau of Control is fucked up. Not going down there. Been in there. Go up these stairs. Wait a minute. I thought I couldn't get into the parapsychology. Oh. So I defeated all of them. So now I can go in here. I guess I didn't realize there was a stairway over there, too. Wait, was there a stairway over there? Or was it blocked off? Because I came from up there. That's where I came in. And then I came down here. I guess I never realized there were stairs there. Doesn't matter, it's clear now. But I can't get in because I'm not a level three, right? Oh. She's in trouble. I need to reach her. Well, if ever were, if ever there were, if ever there were a sign that you ain't welcome somewhere. Shit. Which, how do I start? Where do I begin? God damn. How many of them is it? One, two, three, four. Mother fuck. The building's like no.
Don't hide, bitch. Don't hide. Don't hide. Take your medicine. One day. Your bitch assness. Get you on that pure bitch assness, ain't you? They don't even want me to get to Marshall. Oh, motherfucker. Oh, goddammit. Motherfucker. Okay. Okay. Splat like a motherfucker. Yes. Motherfucking splat in this bitch. Ha! Ah. Ah. Ha! My God! Well, now I know Marshall's in trouble. Unless it can mimic. If the shit can mimic, well then I'm really fucked. If this motherfucker can mimic, keep screaming, you'll go Super Saiyan. I mean, that's what we've been told. Huh. Oh. Y'all gonna make me do this shit all over again. As soon as I touch this ground, it's gonna pop. It's gonna pop out. Anything. Uh huh. What I tell you? What I tell you? Sit down. running so confidently bitch you just running so confidently Come from a motherfucker in a chair who I can't throw things at. I just have to wait until they pick shit up to shoot them. Neutralize the central threat. Come on, pick it up. Yeah, got that ass. All right. Threat motherfucking neutralized. All right. Jeez. I don't want a motherfucker to find out. Which your building shifts and shit. Shifting the building. Making a motherfucker shift the narrative. Got one.
Hola. Damn it, I missed. Bitch! You was just gonna snipe me dead, huh? You too? Oh, you're lucky. Come out! Y'all getting so much better with this tactical bullshit, aren't you? You damn non people. Yeah, I heard it. But yeah. There you are. Motherfucker! More of you! Shit! Shit, Taki Mushrooms in this bitch! even aiming anymore fuck aiming fuck you bitch fuck you I need all your tasty bits Give me all your tasty bits. Oh. Good God damn. Something's going on in there, for sure. So do I go through the astral exhibit? Because that's the thing that was getting blocked. Oh, is this a spot? Oh yeah, I'm oh I'm cleaning it. Regardless, this place is vitally important to the Oh. Most information on the astral plane is, is classified, but we can talk in broad strokes. Keep me in mind. These are staggeringly complex systems. And simplification does them no justice. Now the white non-space the ever-present inverted black pyramid the board all linked intrinsically tied to the oldest house tied to the director the process of choosing a director tied to all objects of power in terms of who controls them yes Weapon forms. What we got now? Spin has a generous magazine and high rate of fire, best used in controlled bursts. Um, I guess I'm making this. I mean, I don't see. Yeah, 
definitely increasing our health. I only have one point left. Health will always take. Okay, four. Where is the kind of airy pendant? Okay, all right, fine. Well, based on that. I think I'm left to assume that I'm nowhere near any type of completion on this game. Um, Hypothesis was that the mindscape of the astral plane is subjective, but that was fast proven wrong. It, it's an actual place, not, not a construct of the mind, even though it is with our minds that we enter and experience it. But then one could argue that that's the case with all reality. We've been able to record footage of the astral plane by monitoring the brain activity of those experiencing it. That is the only concrete material that has come out of the astral plane expeditions. Uh, apart from one shocking exception. In the astral plane footage, we're always in the vicinity of the pyramid. We've concluded that this, not the entire plane, is what the board controls. We have glimpsed movement, native species, always in the distance, and yet contact was made. We don't have footage of this, a technical malfunction, but when one of our astronauts returned, a brain cloud, an astral feud, had hitchhiked a ride in his head. It ruptured out, killing the subject in question. It's a relentless predator, pursuing thoughts, minds, lethal to those the entity feeds on. Proper containment protocols are to be observed when dealing with it. <laughs> Yo. I can't believe they keep that thing here. It's another red button. I 
I don't know if I should push the button, man. There are certain buttons I'm like, no, nah, I don't think I should push them because shit will go wrong. And this seemed like one of them buttons I ain't supposed to press because it may entirely melt down the whole sector. You know what? I'm going to walk away. I'm just going to walk away. I am not going to push that button. In my mind, I have a choice about buttons to push and buttons not to push. And there are two buttons at this point that I have not pushed. The, the, the button was not super important to the lore because nothing has ever been said about pushing a button. Um, okay. Okay, Nat. The Astral Exhibit was originally built for the Astral Knots to use as a training location, a place to grow accustomed to the sights and sounds of the Astral Plane before diving into the real thing. We could have done a better job with it, but... Hmm. I wonder, Marshall, maybe? Or, no, no, who would be in charge? Trench. Trench will probably be in charge of the budget. Uh, but I'm just going to say, redacted, being stingy with the budget. However, once we discovered the redacted, we decided to repurpose the space. Similar to how zoos hope familiar surroundings will affect the well-being of their animals, we hope to observe the redacted's behavior in an element similar to its home dimension. So far, it just breaks everything we put with it. But Rome wasn't built in a day. Refer to for further report. Addendum. New naming conven conventions have been established for the astral entity now known as Astral Spike. Outdated terms in this report have been redacted. The Bureau has spent years studying why objects of power transport users into the astral plane when touched. My predecessor, Dr. Ash, theorized that a potential receptacle determined by Jungian archetypes and the collective subconscious would be inhabited by paradigmal energies when AWE occupied or occurred in its vicinity creating an altered item over time a link was created by the redacted and the astral plane to that item making it an object of power so many the so many additional theories have been raised since Dr. Ash's time Objects of power were placed on Earth as tests by some astral entities. Our dimension was once part of the astral plane and the object was left behind and its borders receded. The astral plane was an early threshold into the oldest house, but the connection was severed and now the two are linked solely through the objects of power. I will attempt to disprove some of these or some of these in order to thin the herd. Hopefully the truth will emerge. Alternative perspective. 
objects of power and their astro and their astral connection. Dr. Darling is insistent that certain objects of power bear a direct connection to the Ugh. You redact me? Okay. Um Dr. Darling insi is insistent that certain objects of power share a direct connection to the redacted, an entity or group of entities that we have little information on or little that I am allowed to access. In his written reports, he states that there is a clear link between these objects of power, the redacted, the astral plane, and the oldest house itself. His work supposes these links are innate, a fact ingrained to, into the very redacted of objects such as the hotline or the service weapon but what if these particular objects were never linked to the redacted but had but had that connection forced upon them isn't it strange that no other objects of power require such direct contact with the redacted isn't it strange that the you that using the service of using the service weapon or hotline will result in a in grievous harm or even death if the user is not the director or at least worthy of the role why do we in, uh, why do we assume this involvement by the redacted is a natural fact and not something more redacted welcome back resonance theory resonance it's there let me read the whole thing utilization of para paranatural elements resonance confidential summary resonance did I say residents? <laughs> Utilization of paranatural elements, resonance, confidential. Summary, resonance. It's there, but we can't see it. It vibrates around us, through us, from us. What if the vibration is conscious? What could be a force? What could a force like that do? Redacted opened the door to a redacted. I've called redacted. The redacted emits a force that is far beyond the forces we've previously dealt with. It has shown me so much that I have to wonder, is resonance the key element in all altered phenomena? AWE, altered items, objects of power, do they share a common redacted that, we yet, that we've yet to discover? We can harmonize control points. What else would the... What else would the correct frequency allow us to achieve? What if resonance has been the answer this whole time? Refer to file redacted or further report or for full report. Song questionnaire. The resonance is just taking residence. It's fine. Auditory experience, 84 point C, Poets of the Fall, My Dark, Disquiet. One, did the song elicit any particular memories? If so, elaborate. Answer questions within two minutes of listening. Did the song el elicit any particular memories of, any particular memories, if so, elaborate. Two, did you at any point feel strong emotions? If so, what emotion? <clears throat> did a clear image of a weapon appear in your mind during the song? If so, elaborate. Provide a detailed description of your current surroundings as you see them. Have you ever heard the murmur of voices when no one is present? If so, what did they say? Do you hear them now? Please choose one from each of the following pairs. One or two, A or B, day or night, apple or orange, burn out or fade away. Mm -hmm. Synchronicity. A glimpse into the paranormal, synchronicity, and the unseen connections. Introduction. Synchronicity is a phenomenon, is a phenomena long recognized by the wise, but only recently given a name by science. It is how we rationalize events connected by no identifiable casual casualty, yet clearly conjoined in purpose. How does a dream foretell an event in the physical plane? 
Why do hounds bail at the death of their master, which has occurred miles away? The world is unified in ways we do not yet understand. And sometimes we stumble across these invisible unseen chords and wonder at the result. The visionary, Carl Jung, laid the road and now we must walk it. My fledging research, my fledging, fledgling research department will make it our mission to re reliably, to reliably reproduce redacted, 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 redacted behavior by the close of 1959. Once done, the mechanics of synchronicity will lay themselves bare in due time. We are striding into the future of science. History may not remember our names, but God himself will. Or herself. Refer to file redacted for full report. Emergency call supplement. Details. Transcript of a call to the California State Emergency Service. Dispatcher. 911. What's your emergency? Voice. Hello. Hello, I'm here. Can you hear me? I can. Mm, let's try that again. Hello. Hello, I'm here. Can you hear me? I, I can hear you, ma'am. Where are you? I'm, um, inside the wires. I'm lost. Ma'am, have you been drinking tonight? I feel like I'm stretching through the wire towards you. Don't hang up. I, I'm, I might go if you hang up. Go where, ma'am? Go. Gone. A away. Okay. And can you describe your surroundings? <laughs> ma'am? Hello, ma'am? Note, dispatcher attempted to call the number back, but it was no longer in service. Wow. Good song also, by the way. Oh, the uh, song they described? Is it an actual song? I wouldn't know. All right, darling, budget request. Dear Dr. Darling, I suspect my colleague, Dr. Harrington, has already contacted you asking for an increase in her department's budget. I'm not surprised. Parapsychology has always been the squeaky wheel. All fuss, but no results. Parakinesiology has always been the stronger department. More breakthroughs, more tangible data, more usable research. I'm sure a man of your steam can plainly see why the de can plainly see which department is more deserving of the budget increase. I just think of what those additional resources could do for an already formidable research team. Uh, anyway, I know you're a fan of single malt, so I left a bottle of well-aged brown under your desk or on your desk. Yours in admiration, Dr. Abraham Lewis. Yeah, well, I'll have to listen to it and then answer the questionnaire. Um, so Dr. Lewis, Dr. Abraham Lewis, who I guess was over the uh, parakinesiology, parakinesiology, parakinesiology um, department, convinced Dr. Darling, who we know is a drunk, to increase their budget over Dr. Harrington's budget with parapsychology, okay? All right, let's look at this black rock analysis. Hi, Carla. Uh, does it strike you as odd that Darling insists on having us appear in those bizarre videos of his? I mean, we just stand there. He doesn't even let us have lines or anything. Uh, don't get me wrong, beats a day in the lab. Uh, plus, it's always great to work with you. Oh, yeah, I finished the comparative analysis 
of the two black rock samples you sent uh, the premise or, or the prism or whatever you call it um, I filed them in the usual place under C ah crap under C for Carla a handy mnemonic device right <laughs> anyway uh, let me know if there's anything you want to discuss about the data I'll gladly explain I'll gladly explain uh, maybe we could chat about it over some drinks or dinner even I can't remember the last time I had a good steak. Uh, maybe we could go together after work sometime. I'm free tomorrow. All the my all the very best, Hubert. Uh oh, Hubert got a little thing for Carla. Hubert trying to get up in there with Car Carla. It's in our DMs. I sent it to you. Okay, cool. Um, Hubert over here trying to get up. Get trying to get up on Carla. Hubert trying to get some. He's trying to get some. Trying to get some of Carla. What you mean? I mean, Darling has reasons to be drunk. Darling does have reasons to be drunk because I feel like Darling is doing a whole lot to try to solve an issue that probably shouldn't exist in the first place. Um. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, who knows? Okay. hypothesis was that the mindscape of the astral plane is subjective but that was fast proven wrong it's an actual place not, not a country okay so we did watch this oh i've been fielding questions recently regarding hras what my thing is he i didn't even realize the alcohol was on the table What's the deal with the Hedron resonance anyway? I... Fuck. Despite what you may have heard, HRAs are not monitoring devices. We're not Look at him. We're listening to your conversations while you're wearing them. Look at his. Look what he been through. You do that regardless whether or not you're wearing an HRA. Think of them as a, as a uh, life preserver. Only instead of water, the, the thing HRAs protect you from is um, classified. One day that classified, not water, might pour in and you'll be glad you got, a, got an HRA keeping you afloat. And if you don't have an HRA, don't worry. It'll be uh, quick and painless. <laughs> kidding. I'm kidding. No, you're not. You're making more. You're lying. You're lying. That's the thing that bothers me. Every time I watch that, I'm like, no. Either you can't make more because they aren't giving you the budget to make more because they don't believe what you believe or you already know that it's impossible to make more based on some kind of premise and the ones that have them are the ones that are going to have them thereby you understand the fact that if shit goes wrong the rest of the building all departments will probably be floating like this bitch. Anyway, I'd have went out with Hubert for a steak. I hope Dar I hope Carla didn't die in the midst of this. So, yo, um, DRT, I'm feeling like I don't push this button because I feel like that button is gonna release that, and I don't know if I want that to happen. I am afraid to push the button oh acid you've also played this so I mean I have feelings no y'all didn't trap this motherfucker in here 
and build some motherfucking sets to make it look like it's the astral plane. They built set design. They made, they made fucking set design. This is all set design. This is all bullshit. Like based on that principle alone, I kind of want to let him out. But I know I shouldn't probably let him out because he's going to destroy everything. I know I'm the director. I know I'm the director, but I'm also responsible for all the motherfuckers that are in here that are still alive. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. I don't know what to do. This is stupid. Why is he even here? Floating like this bitch? What you mean? She just had on life. Some buttons you have to push. Others are side things. I don't really remember off the top which is which. Well, then that would mean I fought my way into that room for nothing, I'm guessing. Unless there's just another doorway or something that I have not gone into and or explored. Uh, I guess I should push the fucking button. I don't want to push that button. Though. Unless, wait, is there a door up here? No, not a door up here. That one is like perma sealed. And something in here was mad that I came in here. God. I feel like I'm gonna regret this, but I'm gonna go push this fucking button. So what did that say? Multiple hazards, no admittance. Oh. I feel like I'm gonna regret this. Oh, I'm gonna regret this, I feel it. Here we go. Okay. What the fuck? What the? It's an invisible. Wait a minute. Is this the door into where he is? Up, left. This is the door in there.
Sorry guys, I got a text. I gotta answer real quick. Don't like stopping in the middle, but this is mom, so. <laughs> So sorry about this. What the hell? Of course, as soon as I look down. Oh gosh. It's still dribbling over here since I played this. I played too many games. I might have to reinstall it though and do some more. <laughs> yeah, there's a the game is like it, there's a lot to it, and it's it's extra deep. Sorry, folks. Sorry, so sorry.
All right. <gasps> Small crisis averted. Okay. Uh, you know what? You know what? You know what? I'm not even going to get in the middle of that. Um... That is not my business. Photo pneumatics, okay. I've never been more, I think I'm even more frightened to push this button. Here we go. Make the assumption I'm supposed to push this button over here. Maybe I'm not. Maybe I was supposed to get that motherfucker in there and then push the button. Did it wrong. And now I'm stuck. This is stupid. Here we go. Let's go, bitch.
Mother fuck! doing with that thing now this door is open And now I'm glitching. Marshall, are you still there? Shit. We're so close. We need to hurry. Oh shit, there's motherfuckers in chairs down there. It's a lot of them bitches down there. They are all over the room. His clusters heal enemies, destroy them to make them fight, make fighting them easier. His clusters, really?
Oh, motherfucker, where'd you come from? No! Let's go. Oh my god, really? This freezing shit, though? Where are you even shooting from? Oh, right there. Right in my goddamn face. Your turn. Damn! Now I see that last one.
she. Bro, get your no man. Fuck it. Oh, is this it? This is the clean spot. Let's go. Where is that coming from? Tell you what, we'll find out where it's coming from in just a moment. I need to run to the restroom and grab myself a new beverage. I seem to be glitching a lot, so I appreciate you guys sticking around for this playthrough because, yeah, I appreciate you. Um, so I will be right back in just a moment. Uh, Take yourself a break. Get yourself a snack, drink, something, whatever. Come on back. We'll hop back into control. See you guys in just a little bit. I will always appreciate you, Steven. There's nothing you can do about that. See you soon.
And we're back. Getting ready to hop back into the game. Hope you all are enjoying this gameplay. If there are other games that you would love to see us play, then make sure you drop them into the Discord. If it's something that we like, then we'll get into it. We'll check into it. But uh, for now, I want to see you play Infamous Second Son or Dark Souls 3. I don't know what Infamous Second Son is. Um, Dark Souls 3, I am afraid. You know how I feel about the Souls um, born um, uh games <laughs> I mm, I just don't know if I have the skill or the wherewithal to play them but you know I don't know I don't know we'll see we'll see I usually like a game with some good you know if it doesn't have graphical appeal to me like something like this um, then I usually avoid it that's a giant brain it's a giant model of a brain. But Dark Souls has always kind of looked interesting. A captive audience. Investigate the x-ray light in the object of power. Um, not right now. Right now, our mission is to track this one. I saw another spot. Dark Souls 3 isn't too bad. I still want to play Second Son. When I think of Dark Souls and Bloodborne and those games, I get intimidated. Um, And I also missed where she said she went. Speak to Marshall on the intercom next to the elevator. What elevator? Oh, that elevator. Marshall, can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. Who is this? My name is Jesse Faden. I'm coming to help. Faden? Hold on. I'm setting the elevator for you. We need to talk now. You got that right. Can you please stop unfreezing? God damn it!
a moving target is harder to hit. It would be nice if my targets kept moving. Like, what a fucking concept. A game that doesn't freeze on you. I'm okay. I'm going to eat my other grandma cookie. That's what I have. I have a grandma. Chocolate chip grandma cookies. That's my snack. Steven, don't you flirt with me. Goldfish. Yes, Natalia. I figured that out as I was waiting. I'm like, I bet you she's just finishing the steak. <laughs> the snack that smiles back, DC. Oh, that's some bullshit. That's some bullshit. So that was completely clear, right? And then I talked to her on the elevator and then this is entirely blocked off. Wait, is this where I originally came in? And then it was all blocked off. And then I had to make that turn to go up there. Okay. Well, now this makes more sense. Here we go. Marshall, can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. Who is this? My name is Jesse Faden. I'm coming to help. Why were her eyes crossed like that? That was creepy. Hold on, I'm setting the elevator for you. We need to talk. She got that right. More of you? Really? Jeez. Swear to God, you better be a normal motherfucker. I'll kill you. Welcome to the party, ma'am. Marshall is right down the hall. Luck and probability, ritual division, synchronicity lab, protective studies.
This is not the same atrium I traveled before, is it? It can't be. It can't be, no. So by me unblocking everything, I open. Why didn't I see this before? I'm gonna have to go back and rewatch my uh, playthrough because I'm trying to figure out why I didn't see this before. Oh yeah, I took care of um, um my uh, abilities and stuff last time. I only have one right now. Y'all look tired as fuck. There you are. I was starting to worry. Let's talk, bitch. No, don't you give me a not responding. I swear to God. Congratulations on your appointment, Director Faden. I'm Helen Marshall, head of Bureau Operations. Zachariah's dead then. And I assume you found his gun. Just call me Jesse. Trench told me to find you. He said you could help. And he told you this through the hotline. Makes sense. None of this phases her? Really? Here's the situation. Darling created the HRAs in a lab nearby. We need more if we're gonna survive this attack. My rangers can't secure the lab alone. Not against those things. We need more firepower. At least she seems to know what's going on here. She could know about Dylan. I can clear out the hiss. I'll be your firepower. That's a good answer. Is she testing me? Darling has systems in place to protect his labs. This should help you get past them. We'll talk more after you clear out the hiss. Rangers, let her through. We'll have to lock the door behind you. Sorry, but we can't risk a breach. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh. Almost invites an ambush. Guess we never thought we'd be fighting on our own turf. Seriously, I've been in threshold safer than this. Are you telling me? Turn the house into a threshold, huh? When I walk my ass in this door, I'm locked in. I don't appreciate none of this. coming up uh yeah i didn't release that i see rangers over there we have to help them
Oh, shit, I didn't see that. Oh, fuck. So rare that I can't see anything. Fuck. Those rangers die. <laughs> what the fuck? Oh, God damn it. You bitch. You a new kind of motherfucker, ain't you? Run. Uh huh. Oh! One hit. Chief Lewis. Oh, shit. Lewis. That's the motherfucker that was trying to sweet the deal for Darlin to get that extra money to their department. Oh, shucky ducky. I'm glad we know what's happening to these motherfuckers. I'm glad we know. They're making it very clear what has gone down. Yes, that greedy, yes, that greedy son of a bitch. And he was so greedy that he didn't wear, uh, um, you know, a thing. One of the things. He didn't wear one of the things and his ass got got. Mm, mm, mm. anything in this place <laughs> darling sure found enough places to hide that weirdo's got lab luckily i know what i'm here for so let's do it Okay, you're a trooper. You're alive. You're alive. You're a trooper. You're alive. All right. Here we go. Wait, I just saw a three. Okay. Here we go. 
Bring this motherfucker down. But yeah, bitch. Damn it. Bitch, are you chasing me? Damn it. Damn it. Yes, the classified not water got his ass. Yes. The classified got not water consumed him. Yeah, I saw his shield pop down. And then it popped like almost immediately back up to the top. It was like, what the fuck? No, I'm, I'm still eating the cookie. <laughs> I'm just broke it into pieces. But I actually just finished it. So that was the last of my cookie. Oh, man. Talk about shitty life cycles, right? Well, I mean, it, would, it is a chocolate chip cookie, therefore brown. Mother. We have to take advantage of him when his shield is down, but we're not getting it. Throw it. Motherfucker.
damn! It seems like his, sh okay, he has split power. When he's using his telekinesis, <laughs> I love that I've made that the way I say that now. When he's using his telekinesis to throw something at you, um, his shield pops down. And when he's not, when he's moving, that's when his shield is up. So it's a, it's a rhythm. I'm finding it's a rhythm and I have to pay attention to that rhythm. Um, so yes. So when he's ready to toss, shield comes down. When he's moving about, shield is up. I got I just gotta keep watching that process happen. And then I'll and I and honestly, being behind that pillar helped too. I found like you know, a way that I could hide from his projectile. While, you know, timing out all the other stuff. So, yes. These pillars will work to my advantage. I need to utilize them well. Let's go. Yeah, when he's gonna throw, he's vulnerable. So right now, like... Even though I... There we go. There we go. He threw. All right. Where you go? Okay, shields up. Shields up. Shields up. Come on over. Come on over, bro. Now move. I don't want to get got. He doesn't heal, but he definitely raises his shield. Lower that shield, lower that shield, baby. Lower that shield, baby. Let me see it. Let me see it. Let me see it, daddy. Yeah. Run. Yes. Oh. Let's go, let's go. Lower that shield, baby. Lower that shield, daddy. Let me see that shield. Let me see that shield drop. Let's go. Whoa. Just missed it. Let's go. Let's go. We got a system. Lower that shield, baby. Lower that shield, daddy. Oh, popped in the face. All right, get out of there. Oh, motherfucker, where did you even come from? And why were you so big? You were tall as fuck. What up, daddy? Let's go. Okay, so that one caught me. That caught me slipping. That caught me slipping. It's all right, though. Keep moving. Keep moving. Oh, damn it. That was my own fucking fault. I did not time that well at all. Where you at, Papa? I, I couldn't even see you that time. I don't even know where you at. Let me keep moving. Damn. 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 Yeah, I didn't realize that minions were popping back in until, you know, it was too late. Because I thought it was working. It was working. We found a system that worked. And we gonna work it till the wheels fall off. That's just how. That's just how that goes down.
That is how that goes down. We got this. We got this. Let me move this bottle so I can actually see my health bar. Cause I couldn't see that. Oh yeah, we got this. Okay, I got one explodey boy there. That's an explodey boy. All the hiss nodes came back up. Not gonna activate that right now. I'm in the middle of a mission. Okay, so that's one explodey boy. I got that. Two explodey boys. Okay. Alright. 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 And is that a third? That is a third explodey boy. Okay. Alright. Not today. You know what? It's okay though. It's okay. We're gonna watch him. We're gonna watch him. We're gonna watch him. We're gonna watch him real good. We're gonna pick this up. Oh, that's not what I meant to pick up, but whatever. We're gonna get out of the way. Not today, homie. Okay. We're just gonna watch him. We're gonna watch him. We're gonna watch him. Let me get down into this next explodey boy though. Okay. Come on down. Because I know you down there, daddy. Let's go. Bring it, bring it, bring it. Oh, not today. Ew. Come on, daddy. Come on down. Well, yeah. Same brain. Okay. Damn it! Damn it! Oh yeah. this time thinking is I just need to avoid and when he lowers his guard shoot avoid and shoot well, that was doing it that was doing some shit right there that was doing some shit right there I'm finding some shit. I'm finding some shit as I do this. Okay. All right. So throwing things is nice, but that gun is like everything and I need to use it more. I need to utilize it as much as possible and pay attention to those patterns. We got this. Definitely got this.
Hold on, let me grab a. I'm gonna grab an incense real quick. Grab one of these. Toss her in. Why are them kids running at midnight 30? Fuck. Why are you running? Why are you running? Okay. Throw things at his little shit to keep your people alive. Okay. I'll try and pay attention to that. I just had to do it. I, I kept looking at it every time I came in. I figured it would work. This now. What's the point? I don't understand. Oh yeah, I know about this. Um, not gonna work. Oh, I have that whole area to play with as well. Uh, no, I'm gonna, I'm gonna stick to my strategy. Find a good strategy that works for me. Do it. I ran straight into the wall instead of behind it. Fuck it. I ain't timing that shit well enough.
Oh. Paying attention. Almost got him. But he almost got me too, so I need to pay attention. Moment, I miss it. It's done. Watch him. Zam. As I was doing before. Research protective studies. That's there. Anybody in here? The rubber duck it is in the paperwork. This way to the lab? Okay. We must like these HRAs. Sounds like Darling built them. And most of the things around here. If Marshall can't help us with Dylan, he's our next best bet. Assuming he's not dead. Or taken over by the hiss.
me here? Any idea how to make it work? There before I start with this. Prism. Now the way out for okay. Hello again, Director. It appears we have a new problem. We need to get the HRA machine working. I've replaced a couple of spark plugs, but this looks a bit more complicated. Darling must have had a system. Randomness isn't in his nature. The punch cards, the symbols, the terminals. How do they connect? I'll see what I can do. Okay, so there's a so, we need to find all the punch cards. Powerful. Dimension. They end too strong. Have you checked the upper floor? Girl. Let me do my job. Which apparently none of y'all could do. And I was able to do just walking in the damn door. Punch card. No. Punch card. Each punch card should correspond to a terminal. Configuration. Can we affect it? Affect it. Terminal, you, your terminal four. So, if I, could, if I understand this correctly, this goes to terminal four. So the, is this telling me to swap those? Looks like he was working on something to do with these symbols. Um, wait. Yeah. That was always number one. Number one, I know for sure. Number one is definitely this one. Okay. Box, what? 
box number two. That's what that say is. I'm trying to remember what upstairs say it. That is definitely one and four. So I pay attention to these other ones. Number four. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Cause wait. Let me go back up. Does that? That is not changed. Is that but downstairs? This is that. Try different combinations. One of them has to work. Oh, 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 okay. I just caught the arrow. I just caught the arrow. So that's five. Which means number one is the, I'm sorry, number two is the cube. Where's the other box? Number three. Number three is the remaining one. Prism Shadow. Darling's prototypes have a lot of issues. We need a new plan. We need more Black Rock Prisms to make this machine work. Darling has another lab down in the Black Rock Processing Site and Maintenance. That must be where he keeps the prisms. I've been to maintenance already. I can find my way. But how long will that take? Right. Everything here is simple. I need to ask her now. Before I go, I need something from you first. What do you know about Dylan Faden? I knew this was coming. Lives are at stake here, and we need this machine working to save those lives. Once that is done, Director Faden, then we can talk. She's right. As much as I don't want to admit it, I'm the only one who can help. <sighs> Fine. I'll get the prisms first. Dylan will have to wait just a little longer. But don't call me director. Jesse is fine. I'll call you Faden. Here, you'll need this key card. Thanks. Emily Pope has set up a base in Executive. Once I have the prism, I'll meet you there. Right. I'll move out immediately. And keep an eye out for Darling. Finding him might be the key to stopping the hiss. Well, it's just one large scale HRA. It's there now. We are about to be exposed to a different kind of resonance. 
Hostile. Viral. Invasive. Resonance. Hmm. I think that's... That's what the Hedron resonance amplifiers are for. Taking the protection Hedron can provide us. And keeping us from being wiped out. Hmm. This will lead back to central research. We'll lead back. Secret door. Thank you. Wow. You go all that way. Jeez, man. I find you've gone in a circle. I'd want to go to the maintenance sector. You go all that way to find out that you've just gone in a giant fucking circle. In a giant fucking circle, that makes no sense if you trace it backwards. It makes no sense if you trace it backwards. No whatsoever. Because from where I'm standing, the area that we were just in to get into the HRA um, lab is like up and above us. So I'm just confused as to how this whole thing. Ah! And it might be that like, it's right, right, right. Blame the residents. I, I blame everybody. Marshall knows something about Dylan. Hell oh, yes you do. Is he here? Is he all right? HRAs first. They'll help save everyone, including Dylan. Once I find him. Can you keep him safe? Like you do with me? I tried to go in here earlier. The big baddie showed up last time. Oh, there goes the music. This is about to go down. Shoot. 
real cute. Try that shit. Black one processing. Okay. Mother. Um. Is that a giant on switch? Like, what the fuck am I looking at? I need to go to Atlas Chamber. Would have been the left. Oh no. That was correct. Atlas Chamber was that way. I shoot those. Wow. Do they just automatically fix it? They automatically fix themselves. So I do have to go in there. In there is where I needed to go. Shit, I didn't even realize that was happening. Don't forget, you can swap to the shoddy mode when they run up to you. Yeah. I don't think about it until I need to. So, okay. This is apparently where I'm supposed to go. But now that I'm here, what am I supposed to do? That has nothing to do with
turbine. Oh, what the fuck is that? Something not running properly. Oh, there is something that's not. No! Bitch, hold it. The do um I definitely turned something on. The, even this light here, that light was not on before.
There has to be something that I'm missing. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. That was a mistake. I wasn't actually trying to do that. I know that it is powering something that either is not turned on or needs to be fixed. Like, I'm supposed to go in there. And I know that I'm supposed to go in there. But for what reason am I going in there? Am I supposed to be able to get across? But what the fuck? Am I supposed to get the pillar to come to me? Like what? I want to say you have to pull the block from the side wall and go up and work from pull the block from the side wall and go up and work from top down. You will eventually cross. Yes, but you got some steps before that happens. Pull the block from the side wall and go up and work from top down. Pull the block from the side wall. Pull the block from the side wall in the turbine room. That block.
That was not what we want. Mm. Okay. Okay. So now I need Now, now what I need it. Do I got to go all the way down to try to bring it upstairs. That's some bullshit. I gotta go all the way back down to get the block to bring it back up. I don't even know if my power. Some tells me not to grab that one because I just placed that one. Son of a bitch. All right. No. Thank you for helping me make sense of some stuff. Shout out to DRT for the assistance. Oh hell, it's one of them damn light switches. The law of three applies. One, two, three. All right, here we are back at the damn Ocean View Motel. That's interesting.
Why am I cleaning the room? The fuck? Does the room have to be in a certain condition in order for me? Yo, two of them stayed open. Do I gotta match the rooms? Is that what they, is that what they want me to do? Yo. Got me the key. Wow, and now it's there. This is some shit, man. <laughs> this game. Oh. Oh. Is that the way down to where I just came from? Ow. It is. Made it easier for me to get back to this. Wait a minute. Wait. See, just a few extra steps. A oh, few, okay. This is ridiculous, man. <laughs> These puzzles! These fucking puzzles. Oh, shit. Okay. We need to find a way to Blackrock Processing. That's where Marshall said we'd find a prism. There's the way. But it's red door. Don't have level five clearance. Let me Somebody somewhere is fighting. Central maintenance. Here we go. Atlas chamber. Mother fuck. Yep. I'm in swinging, bitch. Let's go.
shit. Need to regain some health before I get back out there. Oh! Bitch, did you walk over my body? That's how close you got to me? Uh-uh. You walked over me like you was about to, like, teabag me or something. I don't appreciate none of this. None of this. At all. At all. At motherfucking all. I don't appreciate this rudeness. Am I gonna have to do the whole thing over again? Or does it count that I already did the same? They're gonna make me do the whole thing over again. Actually, maybe they're not. Not that I had to come up here. Let me see. The bridge is already there, okay. I mean, this is where they're gonna appear. I'm still gonna end up dealing with them. Here we go. Mother fuck. Y'all some bitch ass motherfucker.
Oh. Shit. Okay. Since we have now made it across the bridge, I need another bathroom break. I'm sorry. Um, we'll take this moment, run to the restroom. Wow. Um, OBS just had a whole moment, like a whole last moment. Okay. Um, gonna take this moment, run to the restroom, and uh, yeah, we're gonna uh, come back and do this. We'll be right back in just a little bit. And we are back. Told you it was going to be quick. Let's do it. Into the chamber. Ain't going now. Go up and around. Do it that door. We have dealt with far worse and we can do far better than we just did a few minutes ago.
motherfucker. Stairs here? Shit, I'm taking them. Oh, motherfucker! Get up. Uh-uh! Bullshit! I hit you head on. Motherfucking bullshit. Fuck that. Cleanse it. to 20, energy to 20, melee 30, melee enough, launch to 50, need here, 3 for that one, 2 for that one, this one, doing this one. Three more and I can unlock another personal.
Wow. Thing. All kinds of shit. Okay. Okay. You said up here. I'm assuming I have to come upstairs or something. This ain't it. See, you're still you. Medic, what's the damage? Hey, thanks for bringing down that... Whatever the fuck that was. But we are barely holding on here, boss. How's the situation outside maintenance? What do I tell him? The truth is harsh, but... These people seem familiar with death. The hiss are everywhere. Most of the Bureau is lost. We need Blackrock Prison to make more HRAs for any survivors in the safe rooms. I'm here to check Darling's Blackrock lab. So to recap, uh, death, disaster, and imminent destruction. Another day at the FBC. But Darling's lab is just past Blackrock processing. So I got good news and I got bad news on that front. Oh god, here we go. Good news is, it's right down the hall. Bad news is, a hiss monster has decided to move in. So that's great. Monster. That's what the Rangers said. The ones that survived, anyway. But we are just treading water here, and the hiss keep coming. Salvador would know what to do, but apparently he took a security team into the containment sector just before the lockdown happened, and well, no one's seen him since. But hey, at least we got you, our fearless leader. They shouldn't rely on me. They don't know me. They don't know how I failed people. Yo. You've done a good job here, Arish. But you should take your people and get to the base in the executive. You can regroup there. I'll go deal with this monster. I'm getting kind of used to them. Aye, aye, Faden. And be sure to put a bullet in that thing for me. Taking a few hits. We need to get them to a surgical station ASAP, but I don't think they're stable enough to move. Oh, yeah? They're gonna have to be. We are moving out and I am not keeping them behind. Can't believe this is happening. Alright, so apparently we're about to face a monster. Yo, BioShards, what's good? What's going on? Apparently we're about to face a monster. If all goes well, we get this prism. We get back to the uh, HRA. You dig, and we make the best of this. Um, if all does not go well, Arish wasn't kidding about that monster. Not a one of you has survived. Question is Okay, so it's not there. Definitely here. All right. Here we go. Right, we die and do it again. Here we go. 
You showed me the HRA when I first got here. And the machine that makes them. Can you help me find a prism? Waiting for it to pop out. Oh, okay. Shit. What the fuck? Whoa! They were not kidding when they said fucking monster. What the fuck? There's no other way to describe this, huh? Damn. Damn. After we fight, of course. I mean, yeah. I found my old ass Kindle last night and downloaded some APKs on it. Cool. Um, what, what'd you get? Uh, oh. Okay. Taking a few hits. We used to get them to a surgical station ASAP, but I don't think they're stable enough to move. Oh, yeah? Well, they're gonna have to be, because we are moving out and I am not leaving them behind. Now do what you need to do. Ranger Squad Charlie 7 returned from an expedition into the quarry threshold just after 0500 Zulu. Can you please state your names and describe the purpose of your expedition? Kevin Horowitz, Rupert Wells. Our mission was to map quarry grid coordinates G29. Secondary objective, as always, was to find the route that. from the threshold entrance and maintenance we'll to the this. formation. The hiss of the ones doing Secondary objective was not a success. What is the plan? And did you encounter any previously unrecorded event or entity while inside the threshold? No, nothing. Do you think we should tell them about the moment? Excuse me? Yeah, the moment. Horowitz here found this mermaid in a quarry, just sitting on some black rock. She was singing this beautiful song, and he was overcome with desire. Oh, I remember the so deal. I'd say she was more enchanting than alluring. Fine, enchanting. Um, did you tell your CO about this? No. Because it didn't happen. Nothing happened. As usual, the quarry is full of rocks. That's it. Can we go now? <laughs> Fuck you guys. Get out of here. Mm. The quarry is full of rocks, as usual. All right, let's do this. Being head first into danger again. Arish wasn't what the about fuck that was monster? That? The fuck was that?
You showed me the HRA when I first got here, and the machine that makes them. Can you help me find a prism? If I stand up here, I can see moving. Here comes. Here comes. I should probably use the shotgun for this. Did I miss the stretch? Um, I didn't stand up for it. I just, I did it from my seat. <laughs> um, you know, I usually do my long stretch, but I just sat back down from going to the restroom. So. So, okay, yeah, she definitely, she, when I shoot her, she drops health, so I'm going to use the shoddy. And staying in that one place, I was able to see her moving around the room, so I knew when she was about to show up. Um, like that, that red, that red, like, oh, what the fuck? I guess I did go the wrong way. But I can't, because I was supposed to go this way and I went the wrong way. showed me the HRA when I first got here and the machine that makes them can you help me find a prism stop freezing maybe stand behind it if I can um I don't think there's a way to do that Like I can only see her aura, but you can kind of see it. Here it comes. Comes again, real slow, but it's making its approach. Hurry up 
can find the little slab. leak in. We call these areas thresholds. The quarry is one of the more stable thresholds in the maintenance sector. That's that's where black rock comes from. You Extra heard that too, right? Dimensional matter. Black rock comes from the threshold. Out Ari. Frequencies. Uh, so uh, the prisms must be there too. Contained. Think of it as paranatural lead. Our research involves many dangerous things we absolutely need to keep in check. That's what the Black Rock line fire breaks are about. The Panopticon container uh, cells. Sorry to interrupt, sir, but I need a code for the quarry elevator. Oh, uh, Emily. The codes. Black Rock 665. Neighbor of the Beast. Get it? <laughs> Darling's key. This should get us into the quarry. Wow. Six six five neighbor of Everything here is crazy, weird, but it feels right, like how the world should be. Excuse me? I am in an infinite building leading to different dimensions, and I never want to leave. Uh, Jesse? Even with all the horror, I'm happy. Hey, get your lurk on, brother. It's okay. I feel sane. Or just the right kind of insane. Oh, fuck you. Leave me alone. Just got here. I'll start with the bullshit already. Black Rock Farm. Allow me to claim the point. Okay. You know what? Since I'm here, let me look at these port countermeasures. Is there anything else? Is there anything in here that I can do? Uh, kill enemies with service weapon in pierce mode. Don't have it yet. Q. 
fulfill his guards in the executive sector, not there. So enemies would observe and shatter. Okay. I'll try it. I think that's the mode my weapon's in. Yep. Grip and shatter. And shatter. I'm only seeing one enemy. I know this game. Oh my god, please, I'm free. Right, Black Rock Quarry. Are you like pointing for me to go down? Like I'm trying to understand. Yes. Elevator's broken. Of course. Gotta get down the old fashioned way. Power plant.
Gotta get down the old fashioned. And then positive there. And jump to there. Something that I don't like. So just here. Oh, of course. Damn. Okay. More jumping. Moment when you look around and you don't like none of it. None of it. That is exactly how I feel right now. I'm looking around and I don't like none of this shit. Not one inch of it. Can you even get to me? Like, you're doing a lot of screaming, my dude, and I don't even think you can get to me. Like, that's a whole lot of scream you're doing. That's a whole lot of scream. You don't even have the means, bro. You don't even have the wherewithal. This way, down, all right. You got any pellets over here? You got any life pellets? You got one. I see one. Oh, it's a couple. Okay, take these with me. Thank you. Get my good life up because, yeah, we still don't know what we're doing around here. Um. These jumps, though, like. Oh, shit. Like how that worked. Somebody else been doing this shit. Another level. No, it don't look like look like the next level down is just right there. In itself is like Oh and there's one of them spots.
What are the other ones? Where they at? Oh, huh? Look at me, bitch. That's it. Swear if I get down here and the ceiling fall down again, I'm gonna have a fit. Maybe we'll finally get to a dead Dr. Darling. And I'm guessing that's why the elevator didn't work, because all the bullshit. Oh, fuck. Fuck. Thought you were expendable. This is cry cry. This is absolutely cry cry. Black rock quarry. So up here, I gotta go up here. God. One of them motherfuckers.
Oh, there's a gate. Uh -huh. Activate the explosives to ev to evacuate, evacuate, One, two, die up at the stand makes three. I'll plug in those three energies energy boxes if you will and that's what blows it up and there are a bunch of them around so and be done Side. I think I can get around there without being detected. Then I'll fight after it. Or I'll blow the damn thing up and not fight at all. Oh, well, maybe I. That's okay. Keep it fire. There's the panel. There's the cube. Damn it.
Damn it. I'm done with work for the night. I've got nothing else to do until tomorrow morning now. Congratulations. That is worth a celebration. I don't know what you should do. DC, I think I need to go lay down. My brain and body are about done in. Okay. I understand. It has been a long ride. We're at five hours. I get it. Go get rest. Thank you for coming to chill. No, you cannot celebrate by dying. Been a long, been a long, been a long day. Get your rest on. I'm most likely be on tomorrow, so I'll see you then. Most likely. I am not bossy. I just value my fucking friends and you cannot celebrate by dying. No. Well, no, I know you were anxious about the visit, but I mean, doing that and then staying up for an additional five to six hours. I can understand how that would be tiring. First things first. I totally needed to watch your stream though. You are such a wonderful person. I am just human. I am only human. Oh wait, are the boxes in there? They accepted my boxes. Now I just need to fight all of them and get to the panel to blow it up. That's what they're saying. Okay. Nat, if you need to rest, go rest, please. We might continue this tomorrow, but we might do something else, you know, a little less taxing, a little more relaxing. Get it done. Good day, sir. Mother fuck. Uh, 
Ah, uh, the money hug. I receive it and I send it back out to you. Hugs, hugs, and more hugs. All of the love, all the good things. You deserve them. Go have rest. I'm glad that you're a part of this this stream. Not Uggs. Look, look, Steven. I love you. Take it. I love you. I love you, Steven. I love you. I love you. Uh, well, UG is spelled U G G S, if I'm not mistaken. Whereas I used to love a boot called Lugs, and then they disappeared off the fucking market. Have a good night. Oh, really? I get share bitches now, too? You know, you don't have to hide. You can come out. I do miss lugs though. Now that we've talked about boots, it made me think about my, my lugs and I really loved them. What are lugs like? Lugs? Lugs were kind of like Lugs were kind of like a more stylish version of Timberland boots. Um 
uh whereas tim's you know are definitely work boots um lugs were definitely made to be more of a stylish feel um i knew people that would have like different color lugs they would be made of different materials some were leather some were suede um i mean brown was like a typical but uh i knew i i used to have like a blue suede pair of them that were really really nice um yes literally blue suede shoes um and uh i mean for me they were like my favorite types of shoes they were really cool they weren't as big as timberlands were or as heavy as timberlands were but they definitely had like a style about them that would remind you of what a timberland boot was like what is this door oh that's the power plant door okay oh papers no smoking reminder it's funny i did do a lot better just taking them out from above first because they don't spawn up here they just spawn down there so maybe i do that again get a little bit closer take them out from a high point a high event a high advantage point and uh Yeah, take it from there. Oh, motherfucker, y'all tried that. Oh, there you are. You're down. I don't see that third motherfucker that hit. Is he? He was behind that. Oh, he is still over there. Okay. Bitch. Hoping that would have stopped the music.
I've never had boots I liked. Really? I've had boots that I've liked and I've had boots that I've hated. So, I mean, I get that. Bitch. You could just bring your ass out here. I see the button. It's like right there. It's literally right there. But I got out of that jam though. I got out of that jam. <laughs> Woo, I got out of that jam. Where do they get a load of me? Two of you? That was almost my head.
God damn it. Damn. I'm so upset right now <laughs> because all I want is to just get in there and get it. And I know I can get it, but I also know I've been on for six hours. So, Ugh. Mm. Instead of staying up until sunrise, I am definitely going to go ahead and call it. Um, I'm going to go ahead and call it one for the night. Already saved in the location I need it to be. And who knows, I might actually... Uh-oh. Okay, we appeared a bit. Yeah, so I think I'm going to call it one for the night. If I get up early enough... I can hop back into this early enough and try to get closer to the end. I know it's going to take some time. I've already looked up gameplays and they said it's like 10 to 15 hours to get through like the main, um, the main storyline. So, I mean, we've done what two nights of this now this is night two. Um, who knows? Tomorrow may be the day, or today may be the day. Um, but we will get ready to call it here, though. But let's go out into the Twitch sphere and see who is still doing it and doing it and doing it live. So, not playing something different tomorrow. I was considering playing something different tomorrow, but I think I might still play this just because, I mean, we're getting there. We're getting there. Um, I, I know we're nowhere near the end, but we're getting there and good progress is being made. So maybe I'll start with this and then I'll transition into something else for a little more of a cool down. Um, Maybe that's how I'll do it. But I gotta say, the game has definitely got me like, you know, locked in and wanting to complete this mission because there are so many twists and turns in this damn game. Control is like, control is out of. I'm sure you understand what I meant by that. Yes. Control is out of that so i like to see where else this goes Did you understand what i meant by that yes patrol is out of that so let's mute that let's see Who else is out here in the world doing the game thing? Let's see. Okay, we got Acid Monkey who's on Assassin's Creed. Acid was just visiting us a little while ago. Skybolt's on Minecraft. Captain Oblivious is on Final Fantasy. We got some Jedi Lin playing some Animal Crossing. Dama on Outer World. Kamikaze Giggles on Dead by Daylight. Everybody is just doing their own thing. But you know what? Speaking of other games, I've been doing some something weird in, in Minecraft. I'm concerned about how you'll react to it. Okay. 
that scares me but we'll see um tell you what we're gonna do though we're gonna go and give our love give our um good energy our boy acid monkey acid always shows up acid always tries to be present even when acid is a little bit on cloud nine and a little bit doing his own thing um but i love that about him so we are going to go raid acid monkey and give him this good old d player's love that's what we're gonna do so grab yourself a met thank you steven grab yourself a love raid grab yourself a sub raid depending upon whether you're just a lover or a subscriber to the love um and we are gonna get ready to go raid acid monkey um all right there we go okay so we are gonna go raid acid monkey and get that going as we say at the end of every stream, lead with love. Lead with other love. And other love will never, ever, 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 ever lead you wrong. That is my guarantee to you. We're at five, we're, we're at 452 on followers. Um, not far from the 500 mark. Um, and yeah, hopefully by year's end, if we really press it, if we really make it work, we that we might actually cross this threshold but that is in three months so let's see what happens all right grab yourself a raid message we're gonna go get ready to go see acid monkey and again lead with love y'all lead with love promise love will never ever 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 lead you wrong Folks, thank you for all your love, all your support, everything that you do to make the DC players and DC plays the greatest channel it can be. Wonder who's going to get first, my three or your five? Hmm? Oh, race me to a thousand? Is that what you're saying? You gonna race me to a thousand? See who makes it first? I'm I'm at like two seventy three. Okay. Oh, so you wonder who's gonna make it to their next threshold for first or to thousand first? What are you saying? We want to make sure I grab it. Oh, okay, okay, got you, got you. You're two seventy three. I'm at four fifty two. We'll see who it. We'll see who it's their mark first. Um, I mean, we'll see. I I I I call it a race. We'll see who gets there first. Um, that being said. Hope everyone has an excellent night. Um and uh well night, day, afternoon, whatever it is that you are doing wherever you are in the world. And we'll see you next time right here on the stream that love built. Love you guys, and we'll see you soon. Peace.